In this video, I would like to show you how to do the network design problem in Excel. So for this assignment, you will need the distances file. This is an Excel file that uh, shows the different distances from the uh, state from one state capital to another. So for example, from the state capital capital of Arkansas to the state capital of Alabama, there are 386 miles. Okay, let's say from state capital of Arizona to Alabama, it's uh, about 1500 miles. Okay, so this is the uh, distance matrix that you will use. However, since there are 50 states, uh, the problem size can get uh, very large very quickly. So what I would like you to do is I would like everybody to select uh, 10 states at random. Okay, so how's that going to uh, work? Uh, let me um, show you. First of all, uh, click here to open a new tab and then go back to distances. Okay, and we we copy the distance matrix. So I click on distances, hold down shift and control, right arrow, hold down shift and control, down arrow. So I have selected the entire distance matrix. Right click, copy, uh, come to the uh, second sheet, and then uh, right click, paste. Okay, so now I have the same distance matrix. Now I need to randomly pick 10 states. Uh, to do that, um, I click on A and B. Okay, select two columns. Right click, insert. Okay, here I will generate uh, random numbers. So equals rand, open close parenthesis, enter. Okay, this is a random number. Uh, I come to the lower right hand corner. I double click. So now every state has a number, random number between zero and one. So I click on N, hold down, shift and control, down arrow. Uh, and then I come up here. Um, I right click and um, I'll do this again. Uh, copy. Okay. Uh, click here. Uh, paste. Okay. Uh, and I need to paste the numbers. Okay. So uh, delete this uh, column. So next to each state, I have a random number. Uh, what I want to do now is to sort the states. Uh, in the increasing order of the random number and select the uh, states with the lowest random number. Okay. So I select the entire uh, matrix, this distance matrix. Okay. Uh, click on home, sort and filter, custom sort. Okay. And I'm going to uh, custom sort by N. Okay, from smallest to largest. So uh, these are the 10 states with the lowest random number. Okay, so I'm going to select these and I'm going to uh, eliminate the rest. I'm gonna, going to delete the rest of the states. So for that, I click on uh, row 12. This whole row is selected. Hold down shift and control down arrow. So now everything uh, below 12 is selected. Right click, delete. So now here I have 10 states with the lowest uh, random numbers associated. So at this point I don't need the random numbers anymore. So I select this row, I delete. Now here I need to eliminate states. Okay. Uh, so I click on distances, hold down, shift and control, right uh, arrow, hold down, shift and control, down arrow. 
okay so then I click on sort and, uh, uh, sort and filter custom sort um, um, distances okay. so now I have alphabetically listed the states I have selected so I want to keep Alabama I want to keep uh, Arkansas then I need to delete everything uh, until Florida okay so delete I have Florida and I need to delete everything up to Minnesota Minnesota okay I have Florida Minnesota and then North Carolina from Minnesota to North Carolina delete uh, North Carolina to New York delete uh, New York to Ohio all right I have that Ohio to South Dakota delete South Dakota to Washington State delete and then I have uh, West Virginia okay so when you have the 10 randomly selected states here and uh, as the uh, column headers here you should have zero uh, on the diagonals okay so now uh, our question is um, where should we uh, locate our warehouse to serve uh, these 10 states okay now one option is to have one warehouse uh, in each state so each warehouse will serve the state in which it is okay that's the most expensive solution because everybody every every state will get its own warehouse uh, the other extreme is we'll have um, one warehouse that serves all of the states okay so then the question becomes where should that one warehouse be located okay uh, that one warehouse should be located in uh, the state which minimizes the total distance okay so let me explain further so here uh, I select the distance matrix right click copy uh, right click paste okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set all these numbers to zero okay so um, and then I'm going to calculate the total distance here total distance okay so how do I calculate that I see equals some product open parenthesis I select the distances comma and then I select the um, zeros close parenthesis and I get zero now why is the total distance zero the total distance zero uh, is zero because I'm not serving any of the states because these are all zero but let's suppose I'm uh, serving I'm establishing a uh, warehouse in Alabama that uh, services Alabama Arkansas Florida Minnesota etc okay so um, so then I'm gonna uh, put a one here so Alabama serves Alabama and let's say Alabama also serves Arkansas so what do I get um, I drive zero because Alabama is in Alabama okay and then for the customers in Arkansas I drive from Alabama to Arkansas by this much okay and that is my total distance now if I say Alabama warehouse will also serve Florida okay 
So I'm going to put one there. Okay. So then uh, I'm going to cover this distance. I'm going to cover this distance. And then I'm going to cover this distance. Okay. So uh, these three numbers are added up. Uh, 563, 562.81 uh, 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 rounded. So let's round this number zero decimals thousand separator okay and then maybe i'll have a uh, a warehouse in west virginia which will serve uh minnesota north carolina etc so as you can see my total total distance is calculated uh, by multiplying these zeros and ones with the corresponding distances so for example alabama does not serve minnesota so i multiply the distance between alabama and uh, uh, minnesota by zero okay this times this zero times this distance uh, it doesn't add to my total distance because alabama warehouse doesn't serve minnesota but this distance is added. Why? Because Alabama serves Florida. Okay. So that is how um, total distance is calculated. And my objective is to minimize the total distance. I want to place my warehouse in such a place that the total distance needed to serve all the states is minimized okay so let's uh, let's do that so um, I'm going to add these rows and I'm going to add these columns okay why first of all when I add the columns okay uh, this will show me that uh, Alabama is served from one state. Now, if I had two states serving Alabama, uh, Alabama served from Alabama and Alabama served from Florida, that would show me I have uh, two warehouses serving Alabama. Okay? So, uh, this row shows me by how many uh, states a given state is served by how many warehouses a given state is served okay so and then uh, here I'm going to have I'm going to add up these numbers okay so uh, this sum shows me okay uh, how many states a warehouse in this state serves so the warehouse in alabama serves three states uh, and the warehouse in uh, west virginia serves three states i mean these numbers can change of course so um, and then uh, i need uh, there are some states where there is no warehouse, okay? So, for example, there is no warehouse in Arkansas, okay? Well, that's, that's obvious because Arkansas is already served from Alabama. So, since Arkansas is already served, we don't want to place a warehouse in Arkansas, okay? So, um... Uh, so for that, uh, I need to have an indicator variable. So warehouse, okay, zero. Okay. So now this is going to be zero or one, showing whether there is a uh, warehouse in this state or not. Okay. Now, if there is a uh, warehouse in this state it can serve at most 10 
states. Why 10 states at most? Well, because there are a maximum of 10 states. So if we have one warehouse, uh, it can serve at most 10 states. We don't have an 11th state uh, in this problem. Okay. So if we uh, put the number here, one, it can serve at most 10 states. And this is actually how many states are served from this one warehouse. Okay. And then I add up the number of warehouses. Okay. So I'm going to say sum. Okay. So this is how many warehouses we have in total. Okay. Here we have another warehouse. Okay. So we have two warehouses. One in Alabama, one in West Virginia. Let's uh, put these ones here. So one of them serves seven states. Another serve uh, the Alabama warehouse serves three states. So two warehouses, ten states, three states served from Alabama, uh, and um, and uh, seven states served from West Virginia. Okay. So now, um, let's use solver to find the best place, the best state, where to locate our um, uh, warehouse. Okay. So for that, I click on data. I click on solver. So it's a set objective. Now, what is my objective function? My objective function value is total distance, so I click on it, okay? And I want to minimize this. Uh, what are my decision variables, okay? My decision variables are these, okay? So I decide which warehouse will serve which state, uh, comma, whether I have a warehouse or not in that state. So these are my decision variables. Okay. Then I need to add constraints. The so add constraint. Uh, I'm going to select these uh, column totals. And I'm going to say they should equal one. Okay. So why should they equal one? They should equal one because each state should be served by one warehouse. We don't want a state served by two, three, four, five different warehouses. Okay, we just want to keep it simple. And um, let's add another constraint. Okay, this constraint says um, if there is a warehouse in a state, it can serve as at most 10 uh, states, okay? So the actual number of sta states served should be less than or equal to uh, the maximum number of states that can be served. Okay, I'm sorry, I, okay. Uh, actual number of states less than or equal to, click here, yes. And I say, okay. So now, uh, these are the actual states. So if there are no warehouses in a state, that state can only serve zero states, zero other states. But if there is one warehouse in a state, it can serve up to 10 states, okay? So um, in a state, I would like to have at most one warehouse, okay? So um, I click here, okay, number of warehouses in a state. These are going to be binary, zero or one. There's going to be a warehouse or no warehouse, zero or one, okay. And then these decision variables uh, will be binary, okay. Um, oh, yes. And finally, how many warehouses do I want? Okay. 
this is the total number of warehouses. I want this to be equal to, let's say, 1. Okay. So, and then um, I say, go ahead and solve. Okay. So now, Excel has found a solution. I click OK. And um, as you can see, um, the initial numbers that we entered have changed. So Excel selected a warehouse, one warehouse, in Arkansas. And as you can see, this, this one warehouse uh, serves all the 10 states. Okay. And our total distance is 7,421. Now let's try to have two warehouses. Okay. Let's see what happens then. So uh, data solver. Okay. Here, the total number of warehouses. Uh, I click on that constraint and I say change. I want to make it equal to two. Okay. In this case, Excel will uh, select two warehouses in two different states. Okay. I say solve. Now, uh, this may take a while because Excel is going through many iterations and trying many different solutions. And now Excel has found a uh, solution and we'd like to keep that solution. Here, uh, we have two warehouses, just which we wanted. Where should they be? Uh, one of them is going to be in Alabama and one of them is going to be in South Dakota. Okay, the one in Alabama serves seven states and the remaining three states are served by the South Dakota warehouse. Okay, so a state is either served from Alabama, 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 or from South Dakota. Again, Alabama, 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 South Dakota, South Dakota, Alabama. Okay, so this way. Uh, um, we find the two specific locations, which gives us the lowest total distance um, to uh, from warehouses to the states that they serve.